Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Islamic Stories. In Islamic Stories, I tell you all about the history of Islam and some fiction stories that have really good morals. Today, we are going to be listening to a fiction story called Princess Latifah and the Angry Spider. When the spring turned into the summer, a baby girl with beautiful eyes was born at the Istikwama Palace. Istikwama Palace. The king and queen loved the Asma al Husna, the 99 names of Allah, especially Al Latif, meaning the subtle one. They liked, they liked the name so much that they decided to name their daughter Princess Latifa. Princess Latifa grew up to be a graceful girl with a gentle heart. She always had good manners and spoke nicely to everyone. One bright sunny day, Princess Latifa asked some of her friends to join her for a walk in the woods. Let's go and look at all the different and special plants that grow in the woods, said Princess Latifa. As they walked together in the woods, one of Princess Latifa's friends, Khadija, wasn't looking where she was going and walked straight into a spider's web. The large purple spider was very hungry that his web was broken and bit Khadija on the arm. The poison from the spider made made Khadija very sick. Princess Latifa and the other friends were all worried about their friend Khadija as she had two big bite marks on her arm. Mr. Spider, why did you bite my friend? asked Princess Latifa gently. Because she broke my web and I have spent a lot of time and effort spinning that web, said the spider in a very angry voice. We are so sorry, Mr. Spider. It was an accident. She didn't mean to break your web, apologized Princess Latifa. My friend is feeling very sick. Can you please... Help her to get better, asked Princess Latifa kindly. No, I need my web rebuilt, yelled the angry spider. We are sorry, Mr. Spider, we broke your web. We will rebuild you another one, just like new, said Princess Latifa. Princess Latifa had a plan. She ran back to the castle and borrowed a ball of golden silk thread from the royal dressmaker and rushed back to the woods. Very carefully, Princess Latifa spun a new spider web. The thread was very thin and had to be handled very carefully so it it would not break. The angry spider slowly recognised the gentle heart of Princess Latifa and began to realise it was an accident that the web was broken. Alhamdulillah, it's done! Princess Latifa shouted happily as she tied the last knot. The spider was amazed. The new web was far more beautiful than he could have ever imagined. The spider met its promise and helped cure Khadija from her sickness. The spider learned a good lesson that accidents do happen and not to get angry too quickly. 
Princess Latifa and her friends also learned a valuable lesson. Prin Always respect Allah's creatures big and small. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So, there are two morals in the story. Two. Let's do the first one. The first moral in this story is that always respect unless creatures big and small, like it said. The second moral, kindness always leads to other kindness. Kindness has a chain. See how Princess Latifa was kind? The spider was kind back to repay her kindness. So kindness always has a chain. That's the moral of that story. Thank you for listening to our first episode of Islamic Stories. Hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.